Valencia Review. Creed Corp. It's an interesting game. You go around and you build these structures that push down on the land. It takes out resources. With those resources, you can do several different things from building cannons to building these little walkers that take over more land or attack other areas. There's not too many types of buildings, there's just like two. <laughs> so it's not... or three, sorry. So it's not like it's very complex. There's some cannons there. But the concept is uh, strategy based and turn based. So behind that you can devise strategies and take over the land and be the last one to survive. Essentially you want to harvest as much land as you can while maintaining some land for you to still have a place to stay alive on. It's a pretty doomsday type of game. <laughs> All right, so we're gonna go ahead and click start. Click to start. Here's the campaign. It's pretty short, really. But there are four different types of classes or uh, areas or factions, rather, that you can work with. We're gonna go ahead and do the freemen. We're gonna do the first one. So it's pretty simple, basic for the most part. The tutorial goes over it too. You take over more land and you can build these type of structures to uh, harvest the land. Now one thing to keep in mind before you build a harvester is as you see my mouse cursor has there's four different dots or four dots right here but there's only three dots here. That just shows the level of the height level of that place. So like over here is four, three. And you can only build structures, of course, on lands that you've conquered or taken over. I'm gonna go ahead and just build this here, even though it's it's three. Basically, when uh, it's the harvester's time to harvest, it will lower the levels of this place and all the places surrounding it. So it does that and gives you resources in return. When you want to move a, a group of guys that you have. You just click on the group and you click where you want to go. If you have multiples, you just use your mouse wheel to change it. Or you could use plus or minus on your keyboard, I believe is what it is. I don't use the keyboard for it, so then the computer takes their turn. I like to fast forward through this, so by pressing this button it does that for you. Alright. One thing that you can do, if you're on your own land, uh, moving your, your workers, you can actually move them across several different squares. I believe up to three. So they have that in mind. And there's the harvesters going for them. And there's ours. Now with the resources, they show up here. Uh, their resources, resources are shown here. I'm going to go ahead and build another one. I'm going to be a little aggressive. So the concept is pretty basic. You're just trying to outlive your opponent. This is very interesting. I think I'll take over this cannon. It's on a higher level. It has three levels to it. And we are going to build... Let's build another cannon here. We'll have a couple cannons. Alright. Let's also get the carrier. The carrier is used to travel instantly to somewhere else. So we're going to go ahead and travel here. It's a level 3 uh, height area, so that'll be good. As you see, the 14 disappeared and placed to 2. That's because we had 16 and they had 14. Just subtracts. 
If it's even, then the attacker wins and takes the land with no units on that spot. So that's how that works. We're also going to fire, or build, sorry. Build a cannon right here. Uh, the reason why I didn't build more, or ammo, sorry, for the cannon right here. The reason why I didn't build the ammo here, or put ammo in there, is because they can move right here and take that over. Actually, we're going to build a harvester here and here. Now, if they harvest, this spot right here is also going to go down. Oh, it looks like they took it over. Yikes. Alright, so this is getting a little dicey. Let's go ahead and shoot from here over to here. See, it took away five of their units, and it also lowered the level of this place right there. All right. Yeah, I'm a little concerned here because I don't know how to stop that thing from harvesting. So we're in a little bit of tight spot there. Let's see if we could shoot him down to death. Looks like they're harvesting themselves to death as well. Last spot left, last turn, last chance. Here we go. Fire number one. And fire number two. Looks like I won by the skin of my teeth. And this victory. So that's the gameplay. So one thing I didn't really like about uh, this game was the multiplayer option didn't really uh, work. I tried to join a battle for, and waited for 13 minutes and still a battle didn't start. So the only option I think that you really have is to create your own battle for a local player. You can have up to four players. And although it doesn't let you have an option to set the starting money, you can switch turns between the players and get whatever amount that you want to start with. So, this is Greed Corp. I hope you liked the tutorial. And if you do decide to play it, um, be sure to find a friend or two to play with. <laughs>